Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for another day. Hallelujah. Another opportunity. Another time. Hallelujah. To be in his presence. Hallelujah. I just want to come back on here because I was trying to record earlier, but it got cut off. So you guys don't even know that because I didn't get a chance to record. So you guys wouldn't even know that unless I told it to you, which I just did. But anyway, God is good. Hallelujah. I was just um, speaking on the word of God. Hallelujah. And let me first make my introduction, y'all. <laughs> Because I'm just so happy that I'm able to record, hallelujah, because my um, system was acting crazy, y'all. But God is good. God is good. So, we just thank God. I'm your minister, Queen Asia. This is my ministry, Beauty for Ashes, Kingdom of Heaven, Royal Ministries. Praise the Lord, everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. I pray that you guys are blessed and doing God's work. Hallelujah. I pray the favor of the Lord over your life over your family, over your finances, over your health, in the name of Jesus, that you will prosper, hallelujah, even as you prosper, that your soul will prosper, hallelujah, unto the Lord. God is good. We just give God all the praise, glory, and honor because he is able to do all, hallelujah, able to do exceedingly, exceeding above all that we can ask or imagine, hallelujah, according to the power that worketh within him, that worketh within us, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, through him, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So, yeah, so like I was saying, I was talking about the children of wrath. Hallelujah. That was the message that I gave, and it's on my Facebook. So, if any of you guys have me on Facebook, hallelujah, you can go on my Facebook and um, check that out in the name of Jesus. So, but I was coming out of the book of Romans uh, 1, hallelujah, and I was coming out of the book of Matthew 15 and 19, and I also came out the book of Ezekiel 7, uh, chapter 7, hallelujah. And I also came out the book of Ephesians, hallelujah. So those three books, I was dealing with the children of wrath, hallelujah. And also with the wrath of God, hallelujah. So we know, hallelujah, in order for God to have wrath, there's a reason. Because uh, wrath is, it stands for strong, vengeful, let me, wait, okay, strong, vengeful anger or indignation hallelujah retributory punishment for an offense or a crime divine chastisement hallelujah that is what the word wrath means in the name of jesus and we all know hallelujah that the word of god talks about the wrath of god coming upon the children of wrath hallelujah so i wanted to really meditate on that word because i was praying to the father and i asked him hallelujah the sun is starting to shine so bright so i'm going to move this up a little bit there we go yeah so i was asking the lord um who is it who are the children of wrath you know what i'm saying i was asking him and he said read the word of god and look in the book of romans hallelujah and he said look in ephesians so he sent me to these different um verses in the bible hallelujah these different books in the bible to get an understanding in the characteristics, the personalities in the ways of the children of wrath are and who the wrath of God is going to come upon. Hallelujah. So because you guys weren't with me when I was doing my uh, live, hallelujah, I'm just going to go over, um, I'm just going to go over Romans 1, hallelujah. And I'm going to do Ezekiel. So I'm going to do Romans 1 so that we can just understand the characteristics of the children of wrath. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read Romans 1, chapter 1, and I'm going to read verse 18. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to go over to verse... Yeah, so I'm going to start at verse 18. Hallelujah. So let's do Romans 1 and 18. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them. Then we're going to go to verse 21. 
because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Sorry about that, y'all. Had to let that little mini bike go. Okay, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the word of God going forth. Hallelujah. And so let me read verse 21 again. It says, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore God also gave them up, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves hallelujah who changed the truth of god into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this cause god gave them up unto veil affection for the natural use i'm sorry for even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in the lust burned in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat so God gave them over to the lust and the desires of their own hearts and their own darkened imaginations. Hallelujah. He gave it them over, hallelujah, to the lust of sin. Hallelujah. He gave them over to the lust of their flesh. Hallelujah. And in verse 28, it says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to, to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, magnality, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, in, implacable, and unmerciful. These are the characteristics of the children of wrath. Hallelujah. These are the characteristics, hallelujah, of the lifestyle of those who are living a life of, of disobedience. Hallelujah. Who's living a lifestyle, hallelujah, that is not pleasing to God. Hallelujah. This, hallelujah, is the reason why the wrath of God is come upon the inhabitants of the earth. Hallelujah. And I'm going to go to Ephesians 5 and 6. Hallelujah. I said I was going to do Ezekiel. I still am in the name of Jesus. But I just wanted to read Ephesians 5 and verse 6. Hallelujah. So that you could get a clear understanding in the name of Jesus of the characteristics of the children of wrath hallelujah of the children of disobedience so that you can examine yourself hallelujah so that we can examine ourselves to make sure that we don't have these character these character traits inside of us that we are not working under these uh that we are not working under these spirits hallelujah or we are not being hallelujah um that we are not entertaining these spirits, these thoughts, these ways, hallelujah. That we are reproving them, hallelujah. So, uh, Ephesians 5 
and 6. Hallelujah. And the word of God says. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 3. So I'm going to do Ephesians 5, starting at verse 3. And it says, But fornicators in all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Hallelujah. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things come, cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Hallelujah. And so the word of God says, Be not ye therefore part be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to go to verse, uh, let's see. No, I'm going to, now I'm going to go to Ezekiel. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to Ezekiel 7. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads. See, because of the children of disobedience, hallelujah, the wrath of God is going to be coming upon the inhabitants of the earth. And it's going to be coming upon the children of unrighteousness, the children of disobedience, and the children of wrath. Hallelujah. And so the word of God reads, Ezekiel 7, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, Thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, an end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So what God is saying is, according to our lifestyle, according to the way we live, according to how we treat each other, according to how we treat our Father God, according to how we forgive and show mercy to one another and how we um, are obedient to God's laws, commandments, and statutes, hallelujah, according to the way we live is how God is going to repay us. So if we live in a lifestyle of fornication, a lifestyle of hatred, a lifestyle of murder, idolatry, hallelujah, a lifestyle of unforgiveness, hallelujah, then we're going to receive the wrath of God according to the way we are living and the way we are giving ourselves to the world, to, to the lust of our flesh, or the way we're giving ourselves to the Holy Spirit or to, the, to our Father, hallelujah. So it says, hallelujah, verse 4. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee. And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, according, well, sorry, now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine 
anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Hallelujah. You guys, I pray that you understand the word of God. I pray, hallelujah, that you have examined your heart in the name of Jesus. I pray, hallelujah, that you are sitting, hallelujah, and doing the will of God, hallelujah, that every day, hallelujah, every second of your life, hallelujah, that you have committed yourself to do the will of the Father, that you have committed yourself to God, hallelujah, that you have given your life to Christ Jesus, hallelujah, Yeshua Messiah, the only one that can save, hallelujah, the only one that will save, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. The only one that can deliver you, hallelujah, from the wrath of God. Hallelujah. It's up to us, hallelujah, to choose to live a lifestyle that is pleasing and acceptable to our Father God. Hallelujah. He's made it plain and clear that he will have vision, that he will have vengeance, that he will recompense those who do evil, who live unrighteously, who live unjustly, hallelujah, who live unworthy of his grace and his mercy. He will, hallelujah, pour out his fury, his anger, his indignation upon all inhabitants who choose to live in disobedience, hallelujah. So please understand that the lifestyle you choose today hallelujah the way you choose to live your life in this world you will have to take accountability for it whether it's good hallelujah or bad in the name of jesus so i pray that you guys receive the word of god i love you so much i'm your minister queen asia this is my ministry beauty for ashes kingdom of heaven royal ministries i love you guys God willing, I will see you sooner than later. And I pray the blessing and the favor of the Lord upon your house, upon your life, upon your health, upon your finances, and upon all great things that come for the Lord. Because we know that all good things come for the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. So be blessed. And God willing, I will see you sooner than later. I love you guys. Mwah. And God loves you more. Hallelujah. Get, hallelujah, in the will of God and stay there. Hallelujah. Stay connected to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Stay connected. Hallelujah. To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Stay under the covering of the precious blood of Jesus who can deliver you out of all the tricks, all of the plots and plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. Stay connected to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Stay connected to our Father and be led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus over you guys and be safe and have a great, blessed Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I love you.